the 14th century also had uh, one other thing that Richard Emil Magoo uh, wrote about and <clears throat> which is the the Black Death and uh, I'm looking at biblewheel.com forward slash history forward slash c14 underscore death dot php and the 14th century is represented by the letter noon and it is represented by the three books uh, first, Second Chronicles uh, of uh, the 14th book of the first cycle, Zephaniah, the 14th book of the second cycle, and Hebrews, the 14th book of the third cycle. And uh, Revelation 14 uh, also uh, mentions, um, and I looked and behold the white cloud, and upon the cloud one sat like this unto the Son of Man, having on his head a golden crown, and in his hand a sharp sickle. And another angel came out of the temple, crying with a loud voice to him that sat on the cloud, Thrust in thy sickle, and reap. For the time is come for thee to reap, for the harvest of the earth is ripe. And he that sat on the cloud thrust in a sickle on the earth, and the earth was reaped. The bubonic plague. The Black Death of the 14th century killed roughly 25 million people, about one third of the population of Western Europe. The integration with the inner wheel of Revelation is striking. the The image on the left is from Geoffrey Geoffroy Torre. Hore printed in Paris in 1525. It portrays the death rising, sorry, it portrays death riding a horse as in the fourth seal with a crown and sickle as described in uh, Revelation 14. The raven appears in Deuteronomy 14.14 14 as discussed below. A similar connection between a major world calamity and chapter sequence of Revelation appears in Revelation 16 and the Great China Earthquake. There is a connection between the number 14 and the number 4, which strongly relates to death, as explained in the fourth seal, which describes death astride a pale horse. This seems related to the relation between death, 4, and rest, 14. Nun, uh, keyword, noah. It follows the pattern of an affine transformation, or, or of an affine transformation. I have noticed it with all the digits there is a link between n and n plus 10. Unfortunately, an exposition of such subtleties must wait until the world can receive the more elementary teachings. The relation between death and the number 14 runs deeply through the versification of Scripture. For example, these four verses seem significant. Deuteronomy 14.14 14 and, and every raven after his kind uh, 2 Samuel 14.14 14, For we must needs die and are as water spilt on the ground which cannot be gathered up again. Neither doth God respect any person. Ne yet doth he devise means that is banished be not 2 Samuel 14.14 14, For we must needs die and are as water spilt on the ground which cannot be gathered up again. Neither doth God respect any person, yet doth he devise means that his banished be not expelled from him. Job 14.14 14, If a man die, shall he live again? All the days of my, my appointed time will I wait till my change come. 
Revelation 14:14. 14, 14. And I looked, behold, a white cloud, and upon the cloud one sat like unto the Son of Man, having on his head a golden crown, and in his hand a sharp sickle.